Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video I'm going to uh, talk about installing the BlackBerry uh, OS2 beta on a playbook and I have installed that and by doing this you can also install side basically you can side load Android apps on the same and I was able to successfully uh, uh, upload quite a few Android apps and they work beautifully with this BlackBerry uh, OS2 beta. So let's have a look at the same. This is the BlackBerry Playbook uh, version 2 software. This is uh, right now not the official build, but this is the beta build. So a lot of functionality is not enabled right now, but uh, you can do some things by which you can sideload Android apps. Uh, the first thing I want to tell you that uh, to load these Android apps, you don't need to do anything like rooting it or stuff like that. You can just sideload the uh, Android apps. They are basically, they are converted bar files, which you can use a Windows PC to upload. But first I'll show you a little bit about the OS2 version. And as you can see, I've opened, uh, this is the default browser that we get and uh, nothing has changed. But this is the uh, default uh, calculator. And when I open this app tray, you'll notice that the, uh, this, the last row is really special. I've loaded some of the Android apps and this is the email app. This is the Dortmund web browser. This is Winamp. This is the advanced uh, task killer Astro. Uh, if you're using an Android phone, yeah, it'll be familiar and the pulse reader and you don't need to do anything special to load these uh, Android apps. You won't even realize that they are Android apps by just looking at the icon. Uh, let's uh, now quickly open this pulse reader to do that. You do nothing special. You just click on the same and it, it should load. So as you uh, can see, it's loading the pulse reader. This is a basically an Android app. And as you can see, it's a full functional app. I'm going to just click on uh, one of the stories so that it loads. So as you can see, it's working fine. And by uh, doing the special gesture, you can go back to the recent applications that you have launched. Now, let me just launch this Winamp again. This is an Android app. And I have a couple of radio stations to, to show you that it really works. I have this radio station and we're going to stream the radio uh, by playing the station so as you can hear we are right now streaming uh, music via this uh, Winamp app I'm going to close that app and if you notice we get a special tray here for Android apps using this tray we can actually quickly jump between one application to another like this and the best part is that our regular multitasking is still there. If you just swipe it like here, you can easily multitask between your Android apps and your native uh, BlackBerry Playbook apps. So it's pretty fluid and these Android apps work uh, brilliantly. Again, note that right now only a few of the apps have been uh, ported. Uh, I got these apps from a site called crackberry.com. You just go to their forums and uh, some users have uh, ported the Android apps to the bar files. But as Rim has said that the official uh, version 2 will launch sometime in February 2012. And then you'll be uh, able to directly download the Android apps directly via the App Store. You'll have nothing, you, you won't have a separate uh, App Store for Android apps. They'll be like again listed again with this regular uh, playbook app store and now i'll show you how to sideload uh, these uh, android apps to do that you need to make a few uh, changes and the first thing is that go to the security option and you need to enable this development mode switch it on on and go back and you also need to switch on the password assign a password once you have done these things also, you need to download some of the Andro converted Android apps. Uh, you can go to the uh, Crackberry forums to get those files and you will need the software also to load the apps on your playbook. This is basically a Windows based software that we have. I'm, I'm going to show you about the same and also you need to, to install Java on your PC. If you're using a 32 bit OS, use the 32 bit version or if you're using 64 likewise. Now I'm going to switch over to the PC and show you actually how to load these android apps on the playbook now i'm showing you how to sideload the android apps uh, the basically the bar files that you have downloaded at this point i'm already assuming that you have already installed the playbook uh, version 2 beta software on your playbook if you haven't done the same do the same uh, before proceeding i have given the link for the playbook uh, 2 beta software in the show notes given below 
Also, I strongly suggest that uh, before loading the beta 2 software, uh, make a backup using this BlackBerry desktop software. First, connect your playbook to your computer via the USB cable and the BlackBerry desktop software should launch, but we don't need this to sideload our Android apps. So I'm going to just uh, close this BlackBerry desktop software now. Actually, you need this DDPB installer to sideload the Android apps on a playbook. I have given the link for the same in the show notes given below, and I'm going to load that now. Also, just make sure the development mode on your playbook is enabled. And now launch this uh, DDPB installer and hit the scan button and enter the password and hit the connect button. And that should connect to your playbook. It'll show you the uh, pin and the OS version that currently we have. These are some of the apps uh, that I have side loaded. Let me just uh, show you the same. These are the bar files. I've just selected them. You just select, uh, just click this add button and uh, select all these files. I'm going to load the Dolphin uh, web browser, WinAmp and uh, Android email. And I click all those things and I just hit the install button. Now you just wait for a couple of seconds and let this software load the files on your playbook. And generally the action should uh, come over here as OK. I don't know, I always get this exclamation mark for this Android email dot bar file, but it works. Ideally, you should get something like this. OK. And once that's done, hit cancel and now you can exit this application. Now those three Android apps have been installed on your playbook. Now you can safely disconnect the USB cable and use your playbook. So this is how you sideload Android apps on your playbook OS 2 beta. I hope you found this video helpful. That's it for now. This is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and hopefully I'm going to see you in my next video.